Hey guys, we are going to open another booster box uh, or another five kits. Um, I think if, again, if you can get them for the same price, then why wouldn't you? I'll put Gideon on top of all my other good cards. And I guess I'll put the Mythics together, although I have another Mythic. For five, for about the same price, these are kind of a good value, uh, mainly because you're guaranteed a foil. So instead, instead of uh, 36 packs, you can get 30, you get 35 packs, but five of those cards are guaranteed to be foil, which is a lot more than like a booster box. So we're gonna do the promo card later. So I should probably move these to the side and then we'll do a recap. Obviously, I would love an expedition. I know they can come in these packs. I've purchased enough that I should logically get one or statistically get one, but who knows? Carrier land. Oh, this is a pretty cool card. Card. <laughs> First pack. First pack. Um, is this box going to be a lot better than last box? I believe so. So I'll put this one closer to me. Uh, Ogamog is a very big baddie. Whenever you cast Ogamog the Ceaseless, Hunger, exile two target permanents, so double Vindicate, Indestructibility. Whenever it attacks, defending player exiles the top 20 cards. So if anything, it's a fun EDH card, like, at the very least. And it's nice that this particular kit had value so early on. I feel like some kits have a tremendous amount of values, and most of them are, like, mediocre. And Grip of Desolation, Blighted Woodland. Ooh, this is a $10 one. I think this is the most expensive of the bunch. Sunken Hollow is a very good card. So the person who had this kit is doing extremely, extremely well. Uh, I'm not even sure where I'm putting these cards. I just, if I showed you my desk, it is a pile, and also the floor. It is a pile of just booster boxes, packs, and it's crazy. I have no idea when these will be uploaded, because these tend to be longer videos. I have two booster boxes uploading. I have... Another free booster boxes of this type of stuff. Ooh, War Leader. Yes, I like this card. Now, of all the allies, this card is probably the best, in my opinion. So you tap another ally you control, it gains your choice of first strike, vigilance, or trample. It has power and equal in toughness to each to the number of creatures you control. So I like it. I like this card a lot. I might be overhyping it for myself, but I love allies and the problem with the allies are the very good ones are too expensive. Um, they just don't have, they just don't cost cheap enough that you would want to make a deck out of them. Demon Grasp, Titan's Presence, Molten Nursery, and ooh, Blood Butcher. I wish I had this during my pre-release, but I did not. Uh, this card seems extremely OP to me. So I'll put the, the cards that are not so good here. It seems extremely OP to me, to be honest. So if you want to see booster pack openings, we're going to have cases, we're going to have fat packs, whatever you guys want, we'll open. Status Snare, I need a place to have those. Deathless, oh, I was thinking Deathless one. Brutal Exposin, uh, what is this? Return target creature, spell or creatures to its owner's hand. It can also deal two damage to a creature or, or a planeswalker. If that permanent would be put in a graveyard, exile instead. And yes, oh yeah, finally, finally, after so many packs of openings, we got a foil. It is a foil forest, so I'll put the foil forest here. So far, this guy has, I mean, done pretty well for himself. Like, I'm not going to lie, he's, he's done well enough. I mean, you can't go wrong with opening packs or going to pre-release. You just can't go wrong with it because at the end of the day, you get a full, full art land, which is a lot better than most packs. Blight Herder was my promo. Oh, yes, yes, two of them. And wow, this this guy pulled pretty well. Um, like even if you pull just a full art land and that's all you get, and you're guaranteed that, it, I don't think it's the most terrible. A pack compared to other packs like that you can get like absolutely no value veteran war leader so this one is a very interesting uh pack i this is one of the most interesting pre-release kits you got ogamog you got two foil lands you got a sunken hollow and you have veteran veteran war leader um i love it i actually i love allies you guys know i love allies i'm not going to put the ally on the screen because you know it makes it kind of 
weird. So we didn't get um, all of our foils, minus obviously the foil pre-release, uh, were pretty good cards and they tend to be lands. Lands, if I had to pick a foil, I would probably pick a land and that's over you know any other foil. They're just so beautiful to look at. I mean, wow. I would like an island though. So this pre-release kit one, number one was very good. Pre-release kit number two, will it be as good? Who knows? Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. princess number two. So I definitely want to play this card. I love this card so much. Like I just love it, love it, love it. Um, it is my favorite card in this entire set. If I had to get this card or a Expedition, it would be really close. Um, I don't know, I, we are going to open Expedition. We're just going to keep cracking packs until we open one on camera. That's just how we do stuff. Shadow Glider, Stone Spite, Vampiric, Angel Renewal, Molten, Barrage, Titan is pretty good. Uh, this is one of the best cards in Limited. It is very difficult to deal with. Um, it just does so much, especially when you're throwing Aldrazi at them. Those Aldrazi without Trample. I'm very content with this uh, case or what, no, this box already. Uh, I mean, Drena and then two Four Lands and Ogamog obviously is very good. Cryptic Cruiser, Conduit of Ruins. I think this card would be good. Like, it just reminds, it's Vampiric Tutor, but yes, it's a limitation, but wow, it just, you're at eight. You're at least at eight with this card. And it can be any creature spell. It doesn't just have to be an Eldrazi or a colorless creature. It just, it's just so good. Like, I look at it and I say to myself, wow, the card is gonna be played. I mean, it, it reminds me a lot of a Titan, but like a Control Titan. Pilgrim, oh, okay, this one's Angelic Captain is one of, is might be an ally. I don't, I feel like allies, if they were, all the allies were one cheaper, they would be very good, but because they cost so much, they are not gonna be good in standard. I would love to see an ally deck. Maybe I'll make one for you guys. Uh, if you want that, leave a like, I guess, and if there's enough likes, I will make an ally deck and I'll actually play it. Ooh, I like this card a lot. This is the first time I've seen it though. I think it's very good. Wasteland uh, Strangler number like 15 Brazilian, because uh, that is a card that likes to see me very much. So black is very good in this particular pre-release kit. I'm looking at all like the stuff I'm gonna open and it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff. So much stuff. This kit was amazing. You got a princess and you get Gideon. Um, I, I think Gideon, if there is an ally deck, it will rely heavily, heavily on Gideon being that good. So if you take a look at Gideon, this is Gideon number two and princess number two. So Gideon, ally of Zendikar, until end of turn, it becomes a five five with uh, indestructibility, prevent all damage that would be dealt to him. Uh, you can get the O ability, the plus the 2-2 two, two white knight ally token, man, that's so good. That is so good because if you, there's another card in standard called Sorin, and Sorin is with Gideon, might be the best combination, I think. It takes the same sp spot in the deck, but it seems very good. Serpentine Spike, 2 damage to target creature, 3 damage to another target creature, 4 damage to another target creature. <laughs> this is the weirdest promo. Okay. Okay, um, these particular ones were a lot better. I mean, the last time we got a lot of land and Gideon, this time we're not getting as much land, but we still got Gideon, so. I have a feeling that these packs are a lot better than regular packs, and that's because I've opened enough of the regular ones, especially for, Remember, a lot of these players are new, so if you give them a Gideon, they're gonna be like, oh, nice, I got a Gideon, they will be super excited. So many Planeswalkers will open at pre-release, I just don't have that type of luck. You have to assume that I'm the unluckiest person. So, you have to assume that in real life, people pull a lot better. This card is very cool for a, a little neat combo. And Canopy, ooh, not the 
Okay, I mean, I can't complain. It's a very beautiful card. And it's a combo piece, so maybe I'll make a combo deck. Uh, but, um, yeah, they started off very strong. I wonder if there's an order, if the last pack is always, like, really good. Because the last pack, we got Gideon, and... The last pack seems to be, like, better, typically, than... I would say... Yeah, the last pack seems to be better than it should be. And... Oh, thank God it's not that blue card again. Yes! Wow, what value, what value are we pulling? We're pulling a tremendous amount of value already. Uh, the first pack we had Ogamog and two foil lands. The second pre-release kit we had Draina, Gideon, and then this one we got the Canopy and Undergo Champion. So people are saying the slow lands are bad, but they're comparing them to dual lands, like actual dual lands. So that's not a good comparison, guys. And comparing them to Shock Lands is not a good comparison either because that's not what they're going to compete for. They're going to compete primarily for standard play. Yes, another one of these. And, oh, I saw, man, cannot complain. The Man Lands, however, so take a look at the Ally Man Lands. There are two of them above $20, I believe. Maybe one of them. The blue-black one is the most expensive, but it is so good. So I'm, I might make a token deck. I think I'll make a token deck. With Gideons and Vents, and I have enough Vents. I actually have six of them so far. Uh, the booster boxes were very good too, so hopefully they will upload soon. Ah, oh, man. Uh, we keep getting this ally. The allies are just not, like, if they were one cheaper, he might be playable. He might be playable if he's one cheaper, uh, but we got a foil red card, which is not a land. I don't know of any good red cards in this particular set. How many packs are we open left? Oh, we have two more of these kits, and so we should probably go a little faster because I'm getting tired. Oh, Sanctum of Ugin and <laughs> Sanctum of Ugin is. I don't know. What do you guys think about that card? I have a ton of them. I have already a playset plus. But I cannot complain. I cannot complain. A undergrowth champion is probably the value, and then a and then two land. Land is always so valuable, especially if it's not been reprinted. Uh, everyone is looking for it. It's definitely easy to trade away. Ah, oh, definitely no. That's not turn one. Oh, we got Hydra. Uh, Hydra are very interesting. Five five trample and if a land enters the battlefield, you get a plus one plus one. If that lands a forest, you get two plus one plus one. So, pretty good and limited. Of course, Hero of Gomont. So we've had really bad luck. The booster packs have been pretty good to us, but the actual foils, which is the whole purpose I purchased boxes this way, has not been that great to us. I mean, I don't know. Like we we are due for a really good foil. I guarantee you that because of it's kind of like when you open a lot of sports cards. So I open a ton of sports cards, and you know when the Michael Jordan autograph is going to appear because. It's, they set it up that way. Probability. That's how probability works. I would love an expedition right now, so I can just quit opening packs. Uh, but here we go. I cut to the board was very good for me. This is pro this is definitely the best card in limited. It's so good. This well, this is pretty good too. Adverse conduit and yeah, I'm I'm okay with getting one of these. I do need a place out of them, and this is I believe. Number four? That makes a play set. I love it. It's one of my favorite cards. Let's see. Giant Mantis, Outnumber, Vix Dominated Drone. My gosh, we're going to get a lot of videos. Blighted is red. Dragon Master. Okay, that's not the mythic I wanted to see, but as a mythic, it is pretty good. I do like the card. And they kept it mythic, although they made the other one non mythic. I, I still haven't got one of those. Sylvan. I, I need to get more of those. Uh, I love that card. That's actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite, EDH card. Ooh, I like this card. Okay, so I get a ton of this card. I don't know if it's going to see play. It seems less than ideal to me. It deals X damage to each creature where X is a number of colors. I mean, you get options, but like, I would much rather just have uh, the one that's rotating out. Which, 
I have not slept in a while. I'm opening packs until I can get an expedition, and that's what's going to happen. Hopefully. Uh, no, it's not even the right tree folk. Uh, Vigilance Trample, Converge. Converge is one of the most, um, I think, least useful mechanics in Standard. I don't see Converge being that supported because essentially, like, what are you trying to do? You're trying to be five color, but can you be five color with the current mana base? I don't think so. Knee search renewal. This is a big baddie. I like it. This card I like a lot. I like the life gain. If it didn't have the life gain, it would not be as good, in my opinion. But, I mean, it triggers landfall quite a bit. The new anticipate looks good. I'm gonna, I will bet that this card is gonna be very, very good. Just from how I see the pack unfolding. I do not see them trolling someone. Oh, see, like the pack seems very, very bad. Like, this has got to be one of the worst pre-release kits I've seen. So I'm assuming the promo is very good, but we'll find out. Okay, it is uh, it is a mythic. Um, I'll give you that. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, yeah, it's a mythic. I don't know if it's a good mythic, but I assume that it's... See, I can kind of tell, right? I... Now, maybe Wizard of Coast feels like that's a really good card and they just made a mistake. Like Coco. Coco, no one knew Coco would be a good card. And the same with um, a lot of cards that they reprint for value. I don't believe they know they, they are going to be valuable because they have to manufacture them way in advance. Some cards like Fetchlands, obviously you know that they are valuable. I'm going to move this like slightly over because they are fetch lands, but on most cards you cannot tell if they're valuable or not. I'm very pleased we got a Gideon, Undergrowth Champion, a Draena, and a Foil Mythic, I guess. That means this pack will be very good. Ooh, oh yeah, this is so anytime you can get a dual land and blue. Regardless of what it is, uh, it's better than probably a dual land and non-blue. Normally speaking. So I'm very glad to get one of those. That was the first one I've seen. I have not seen a lot of the blue ones, uh, to be honest with you. Kozilak. Uh, Duststalker, number 18 million. The Duststalker is stalking me. And I don't know why, because I don't want to play the card. I mean, it might not be bad, it's just not like... Like, if you looked at this 10 years ago, this would be the best card in the whole set. People would be like, oh, I mean, it was the best card in the whole set. It would call it Skizret. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Almost a playset. If I get a playset of this one and no expedition, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, I don't, the card is not incredibly valuable at this moment in time, but I just love it. Like, it's one of the cards that I've fallen, it's one of the cards I will continue to collect forever. Like, kind of like Filia, but not as, oh man, <laughs> Converge. Anytime, I don't know, is there a good Converge card? I don't believe so. I, is there a Converge card over $5? I don't know, I don't think so. Um, maybe, but not that one I, this card was weird. Oh, oh, butcher. Oh, okay. This is not bad. <laughs> this is not bad. Um, how I was to quarantine. I was really excited for that, but this is destroy all non land creatures. That is pretty good. And then you get to awaken. This card will replace the other one in white. Uh, will it be better than the black version of it? Unknown, unknown, but double Gideon, or Gideon and then double Draina, well, I mean, that's that's good. I'm more than happy with this particular set. Slaughter and Cure, we do need Cure. I have a feeling this one will be very good. My feeling is this one will be a very good rare. Or it could be a very powerful mythic. Wow, so our foils have improved. That is exactly why I buy this stuff, because um, you get two foil mythics, including this one. This one, a lot of casual players were asking for him. 
I don't know, he seems very good as a EDH general, and honestly, getting a foil pre-release version of him will be very difficult to get nowadays. So those were the five. Um, this box was a lot better than last box. Uh, in my so we got whoop. Okay, okay. Cards are falling over all over the place, and I, I gotta clean. I cannot make another video without cleaning. So I would say we got a Dragon Mask Master Outcast, which is pretty good. Got one of these. Oh, this joint. This is a pretty good card. I mean, wow, that's not bad for one drop. We got a Gideon. Yeah, so previous kits on general are better than boxes in my opinion. We got a Gideon, we got one of these, so we have a playset of this now. Unworld Champion, Canopy, Gideon. This one was really good. This box was really good in my opinion. Uh, no Expedition, and we're down to one nice box for an Expedition, but uh, overall the value is there for this particular box. Um, double Sunken. This was a good box. And oh, Olgamog. So this was an incredible box actually. Ogamog, land, 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 Draena, Gideon, land, underground, growth champion, land, land, foil, Draena, wow, that's a lot of mythics. And then the two mythics here, that's a lot of mythics. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mythics. See, in a booster box, there's no way you get eight mythics. And maybe we get, like, is there another Mythic that's just kind of crappy that I went over? Maybe. Uh, eight Mythics, seven, eight Mythics, a ton, I mean, come on, you gotta look at this. This is way better than any booster box, unless it has Expedition, of course. Eight Mythics, you got, no, separate time. Eight Mythics, you have two Foil Mythics, you have more than eight Mythics, hold on. You have five foil rares, some land, and how many mythics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, yeah, you got eight mythics in this. This holy, holy crap. This is a pretty good box, but no expedition. We're gonna keep opening. I don't care. We're gonna keep opening.